You are welcome to the OG show, and this is the OG Sports um, edition. And this is Kwe Kwan Okumi um, taking it down and holding it down. This shoot is coming from Cessna's E3. Remember, it's located adjacent the Golden Tulip Hotel and opposite the Max Smart Shopping Mall. Of course, you can call Cessna's E3 um, on 0302 905 955. I'll repeat the first number 0302 905 955 and you can also call them on 0500-729-480 I repeat 0500-729-480 we are going straight into the game and it's a big game on our hands it's us now going up against Manchester United at the Emirates Stadium and of course I'll I'll take the discussion around the table and before I do that I'll have the guests to introduce themselves I'm with um, Baiki Sumamed, and how has your week been when it comes to in terms of sports? Um, Arsenal lost to Stadre. It's tough, it's tough, <laughs> it's tough, but uh, we are hoping to do well today. Okay, and we move on to... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm Mami Suma Amua. Um, should okay. I answer how my week has been? Yeah, how has your week been? Of course, I mean, my week has been superb. Mm. This is a wonderful week to be a United fan. And so as I sit here, you can see all from the front of the smiles. It's been a wonderful week. And I know today that my team is actually going to also make me happy as I sit here. How many goals you've been Oh, I think I'm just going to do... You want me to do the prediction now? It's also going to be 3-1, just okay. like what we did to PSG, 3-1. So let me move on to my co-host, my co-host Edwin. Uh, what, what will be your views on the game? Let me start with you. It's going to be competitive. I see us now dominating possession but eventually losing by three goals to one eventually losing by three goals to one yeah, three why goes to one. why do you think they would lose by three goals to one because united versus us now if you've observed since around 2011 it has followed the same pattern united will concede possession as now will attack 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 united will defend not really just sit back allow them to attack and then we'll counter attack and score a number of goals on that note we will take the the, the lineups because we are building up towards this game we have Leno in goal, Midland Nails, Socrates, Koscielny, Morial, and Kolasinac making up the defensive line for Arsenal. In the midfield, we have Granit Xhaka, Aaron Ramsey, and Mesut Ozil making up the midfield. And Arsenal will lead the attack with Aubameyang, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and Alexandre Lacazette. For the Red Devils, we have um, of Manchester United, we have De Gea in post, um, the captain Ashley Young, um, Lindelof Smolin and Luke Shaw making up the back four. In the midfield, we have Matic, um, Nemanja Matic, Fred, Paul Pogba, and making up uh, the midfield as well. Diego Dalot also joins the defence with Lukaku and Rashford leading the lines for Manchester United. So, I'll start off, let me, let me start off with my calls and move on to our distinguished guests. So, what is your make of the Manchester United um, line, the lineup? The United lineup. Um, I'm very confident in this lineup, apart from Matic. Because Matic, even when he was fit, he was really slow. He was kind of slowing up our build up play and then he wasn't getting into position quick enough. And now that he's coming back from injury, I don't, I, I don't really have all that, that much confidence in Matic. And Ashley Young has been very leaky in defence for a number of months now, but then he's the captain. He's more or less an automatic selection because of the armband. So let's just hope and pray as now don't take full advantage of his presence. You speak about the, the defence of Manchester United in the sense that it will be shaky. Yeah. What do you make of Arsenal starting their two uh, big strikers in Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexandre Lacazette? Well, Lacazette is a very dangerous operator. He's actually the only Arsenal attacker that I wish was a Man United player. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he's very good. <laughs> Aubameyang, I don't know. I was, I've been a fan of that guy for a number of years now, but of late he looks like he's lost a yard or two of his pace. Okay. And that was his main asset. Okay. Yeah, so I'm fairly confident we can contain him, but like I said, our, our defenders have to stay focused because that guy is slippery. Okay, so we we'll move on to uh, Mame Suma. Um, now, Manchester United are coming on the back of a huge victory against PSG that saw them sail through to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. Do you feel that performance should have any bearing psychologically going into this game against Arsenal? Exactly, absolutely. I mean, it's something that actually happens in football and that is why sometimes you realize that after a loss, sometimes it's hard for some teams to actually pick themselves up. 
um, last Wednesday win is a win that is actually going to catapult us into victory today also. And looking at the lineup, you could see that last week they didn't even have Poba, and Poba is coming on board. I mean, this time we had a lot of injuries in there. Although some of the players couldn't make it for today's lineup, you could see that. I mean, um, we have a strong team, at least better than the team that we met actual PSG with it. So I mean, it looks it looks um, it looks stronger today. And I believe very well that, I mean, just looking at, I mean, the away performances, we could look at far back as in December coming, our away performances have been one that we have actually performed very well. We have been massive with our away performance. And, uh, and records actually hold this also. We, we are the team with the upper hands. I mean, you can look at the number of times that we have met you and the wins that we have had. So today's actually going to be a repeat of history where at the end of the day, we are actually going to, I mean, score you. I mean, this is not the first time we are meeting you this year. We met you in January. And again, we also did justice to you. So it's just going to be, I mean, repeat. I believe in the boys who are, I mean, have been selected. And I know that definitely is going to be a win for us, yes. Don't be surprised when she keeps mentioning uh, me, me, because my co-host is a Man United fan and I'm an Arsenal fan. So uh, that, that we'll see how the cookie crumbles. To Barikisu, now, Arsenal. Uh, Manchester United went to France, dropped three goals and took in a goal. And Arsenal decided to return that one goal and take in three goals against against that <laughs> and and looking at all this, Unai Emery was just there. It was so close to beating um, Tottenham Hotspur and Aubameyang missed that penalty. Looking at all those two events, how do you think this game will also pan out? Actually, um, it starts with a lineup. Most of the times, I'm not in favor of this um, mode of selection. But I think today's selection is way better because we, today we have two strikers. Most of the times it's just one person. And he doesn't often play Ozil. And today Ozil is in the lineup. And Mind United should also take note that uh, we've, uh, we've beaten them twice in three games uh, that we hosted at Emirates. So, uh, and um, Emery too is. This, um, he doesn't want to lose the second time with Man United. So definitely, I'm sure he's going all out, doing his best. I think looking at his selection, you know that he's probably on the... He, he doesn't want to break that record. So he's on his toes. And also, uh, looking at our previous games, um, the confidence of Aubameyang will, will be, uh, come to play uh, in this match because he lost a penalty and it's a big blow. So definitely today he would like to do his best and play well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wants to redeem himself. So definitely today I'm hoping and I'm hoping for a good play from him. And also uh, our previous match with uh, Tottenham. Yeah. That was tough. <laughs> <laughs> we should have won that game. Mm -hmm. We really did play mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. It's so unfortunate we didn't win. But we are hoping to do well today. We are hoping. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so happy. <man>. So uh, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, enjoyment and agony across the table, looking at where you are coming from and where um, your team won or lost in the previous games. So from here, I'll take predictions around the table, then we move on to enjoy the game. So I'll start with Edwin. What will be your prediction? My prediction? That's now two strikers. A lot of midfielders, solid defense. But then there are us now. So, 3 1 against us now. Mm. 3 1. Only because they have two strikers. So, I'll give them one. Angelina? You know what? I, I told you earlier that I have a soft spot for us now. And so, normally when we meet them like this, it hurts me that we will actually score them. I'm happy that United is going to win. But I'm sad because at the end of the day, Arsenal is going to lose. And just like we did for, I mean, to PSG and we did again in January, it's just going to be 3 1. It, it hurts me though, but it's 3 1. Your prediction? Actually, um, I'm predicting 2 1. And I'm hoping Obamian scores this time. I think there will be two goals for us now and it will be done. We'll all go home. Oh, and yeah, clean and also, <laughs> yeah. Clean I, I know that's not been touted for a side that doesn't keep clean sheets, but. I, 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 it's just I'm just having a strong hey. feeling that that's how the game will pan out. So, so they say intent. Everybody is predicting um, that my team will win and my team would also win. But the intent of you wanting to win does not translate into the goals, and that does not mean your team 
would win. Remember, we are shooting from Cessna's E3. You can call Cessna's E3 on 0302-905-955 and also on 0500-729-480. This is the Wingside um, Studio um, production and this is the Wingside Studio YouTube page and also on Facebook. Remember to subscribe and also click the like button right below. The stage is set. We are at the Emory Stadium. It's Arsenal versus Manchester United. We go in to watch the game and we come back at half time. Look oh, oh, I need mercy. Throw back when I was with Messi. I know, baby, I'm who said, say. We're not meant to be together, who said that? The way you whining on me, eh, eh. Look what you've done to all me, eh, eh. No girl can fit whining on me, eh, eh. So we are back and it's half time and we're still shooting from Cessna E3 right at just the Golden Tulip Hotel and of course it was quite an interesting first half and as now lead by a goal to nil. I'll start off with my co-host. What's your impression of the game? Man, very unfortunate this game for Man United. I mean Arsenal got a free goal, took the lead after that, so many good attacks by Man United but then we kept on hitting the post, passing up easy shots. But it's promising for the second half. So, um, so my mommy, so my, um, Arsenal came in, I, I mean Manchester United came pretty close. Um, there were lots of chances missed in there, Lukaku hitting the post. And Lukaku again having the ball saved by Leno. Um, do you, are you hopeful that Manchester United can turn things around in the second half? Just seeing on the screen, it says believe in yourself. I believe in the team that definitely is going to be a comeback for us in there. Um, it hasn't been a disappointment. I wouldn't say it has been a disappointing first half, though I was expecting a lot from, from the team. I mean, that was an early goal that should have given us the opportunity to actually equalize. So I was actually hoping that the guys could equalize before we come into the second half. What it means is that it has, I mean, there's a lot of work on the guys to actually equalize and again score again the two goals before we go in. And um, our best move was just the goal, like, I mean, the one that nearly um, we should have scored before the second half, which I felt like, I mean, um, sure should have actually crossed the ball into it, but I mean, um, there's still hope for United to actually come up and then win this game. So I'm expecting an interesting second half, yes. But Chris, what should Arsenal do to keep this lead and, and win eventually? I think they should continue the attacking play that they are doing now and also push forward. And I think Aubameyang should set up. He's missing a lot of chances, which maybe 10 could have given us uh, maybe two, lead, uh, two goals lead by now. And also, Shaka is doing so well. I'm so impressed with this goal. The shot was so nice. Mm. Yes. And I think Lagazette too is playing well today. So let's hope for the better. We are hoping for two, uh, an, an, another goal. Okay. Yes. So this is our halftime review. Um, we still have Cessna E3. Uh, please call on 0302905955 and on 0500729488. We go in for the second half. We'll be back at the end of the game. Look oh, oh, I need mercy. Throw back when I was with mercy. Look oh, oh, I need mercy. Throw back when I was with mercy. I know, baby, I'm who said say. We're not meant to be together, who said that? So folks, uh, my prediction came to pass, it has been an amazing game, Arsenal won by two goals to nil. goals coming through from Granit Xhaka and that of Pierre-Emerick Bamiang to the sports kick. I'm still with my guest right out here, we're still shooting from Cessna E3 and remember um, to call Cessna E3 on 0302905955 and 0500729480. Cessna E3 is located right adjacent the Golden Tulip Hotel and also opposite Max Mart in 
37. So I'm here with my panelist and uh, my co-host Edwin Aqua. He's, he just comes in to I'm understand defeated. what just happened. <laughs> Mam Soma just can't believe what happened. Uh, Bash Kisu, um, happy and showing sight of relief as she begged for the time to end. And I am still here waiting for the three goals the Manchester folks predicted. Oh. <laughs> at the end of the day. So uh, I'll, I'll take views from, from Edwin. <laughs> Manchester United, they had all their chances. They couldn't bury it. They lost by two goals in them. Yeah, it's just one of those days. We had all the chances in the world to take this game and we blew it. <laughs> so looking at it from that point of view, I guess as now. Mm. Yeah. That, that would be all I have to say. Okay. I, I'm sure if Man United won this game, you'd have a lot more to say and more adjectives Absolutely. to explain this. But <laughs> I'll move on to Mami Suma. What do you believe saw Olega and Associate lose half his first away defeat since he took over the charges of Manchester United? Let me start with saying congrats to my Arsenal fans, to all Arsenal fans watching. Congratulations for, for winning this one. Um, it's something that I actually was not expecting to come because I thought we were going to still continue with the winning of the away matches. Um, it's actually a blow to us and I'm sure Ole himself is also going to be a blow to him. Of course, I mean, in the second half, we came in with much energy. I mean, if you see that for the first probably like between five, ten minutes, there was so much energy that we brought into the game, but of course we could not utilize the energies into goals and um, we, we just found a, a penalty which actually ended. I think that penalty actually changed the whole game and uh, we could not also I mean, convert the chances that we had into goals. Um, going back, I think Ole, I mean, like you said, I mean, his first defeat in an away game is going to be hard for him, but I think it's, it's life. It happens in football. Um, we're actually going to bounce back again. I mean, our next game, I think we are going to put on strong performance. I think when they go back into, into their rooms, they are going to look at their mistakes and things are not going to repeat again. It's an unfortunate one, but um, as United as we are, I mean, we are still strong. We are still strong. This so we are not giving up yet. So, Barakusu, Manchester United are just from completing a redemption story as they went to France and were able to get in the victory and qualify to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. As now, we we'll now need to build from this victory and try and pull a comeback against Stavione at the Edmund Stadium. Um, what does winning this game mean to you? Uh, to begin with, uh, I'm sure my pool, <laughs> uh, the, 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 you know, today's match was a history which has repeated itself. And um, they don't know, maybe let me tell them. Uh, with us now, we've won... Uh, one nine of our 13 games at home and on Sunday. Okay. So this is the 10th <laughs> and the 14th game. Okay. So a little brief history for you guys. Does that mean to be the last one? <laughs> no. <laughs> we are continuing. So, yeah. So that's, um, and also, um, as now, we, we normally win our home games. We normally win our home games. Out of the three we've uh, played with you and we've lost one. I think this one, the fourth one. So we are so excited. And today also shows the, the uh, lineup shows the reflection of the scores today. Okay. We, today we had a very solid lineup and it has reflected in our performance. We are so excited. And I hope our coach will continue to give us good lineup. <laughs> yes, because sometimes he. It's weird. Okay, okay. We are so excited about the win. So we've come to the end of um, the game and the end of the discussion and end of all the emotions that oozed out um, as all of us watched this game. It was Arsenal who managed to recover from a defeat um, at suffered at Stade Rene in France and came back to win and beat Manchester United by two goals to now. Remember, we shot um, this video was shot from Cessna's E3, which is adjacent the Golden Tulip Hotel and opposite Max Mart in 37. Remember to call um, Cessna's E3 on 0302 and also 0500 Remember, this is the Wing Size Studio on Facebook and on YouTube. Remember to subscribe and click the like button. This has been the OG show. We catch you next time. Well, can I say something before you? <laughs> you see, the Arsenal fans, they are there thinking that actually they are going to be in the top four. You see that?
Messi Throw back when I was with Messi Look oh, oh I need Messi Throw back when I was with Messi I know baby I'm who says We're not meant to be together who said that The way you hanging on me yeah. 